Hello and uh, welcome to another Friday review. Uh, I've got something a little bit more special this morning. A little bit not quite landscape photography based, but it's definitely going to assist you. Now, if you remember a couple of weeks ago, I did a video on a Wayfarer Escute mountain bike or road bike. This is now the Escute mountain bike. This is what we've got to play with. Um, as you can see, I've already had it out. There's a little bit of dirt on it. It comes with the same as the Wayfarer, this is the Voyager, you've got your battery pack in there, you've got your controller, you've got your seven gears on the top, you've got your disc brakes on the front, puncher-proof tyres, you've got a headlight which works off the switch, a nice little horn, also comes with these uh, foldable mud flaps that you can put on there, uh, seven gears, Shimano derailleur, uh, rear disc brake, and yeah, it's a really nice, nice, nice little bit of kit. Um, should give us a range of about 40 miles. Had it out yesterday, I did uh, 20 miles on it and uh, it was down to the last two bars. So yeah, I had it on power assist three, four and five. So should be a bit interesting, but today it's gonna be a bit different. I wanna take it into, give it a bit of a test. So I'm taking it up there. We're going up onto the top of Derwent Edge and it'd be interesting to see what it's like off-road. Now I'm not an off-road rider by any imagination not at all um, but i do want to give it a ride off road and see what it's like put my helmet on get the gear on take it up there take a few pictures of it and i'll tell you what i think of it on the way up well first impressions getting up the first little bit i've only literally been on it five minutes uh, it definitely gives you some power to assist you getting up these uh these hills i'm not an off-roader so technique is not my best uh, stature and i am having riding with a, a large camera bag as well so uh, it's not ideal but yeah it's definitely pulling me up the hills uh, it's a little bit clunky i think the battery's a bit clunky um, but that can be soon be sorted out with a little bit of a, a strap um, i'm going to head on up and the path gets a little bit easier from here but uh, enjoyable so we'll see you on the way up somewhere and i'll talk a little bit more about the bike Right, so we've made it up onto our first little checkpoint before we start going up the hill. And this thing is absolutely amazing. Darren's panting his little breath off on his bike because he's got a normal bike, but this Voyager is absolutely fantastic. It really is great. I've got it in level three, second gear, and it's just pulling me up the hill uh, with great ease. And as you can see, we're quite a way up at the moment. That's Lady Boa down on the bottom there, even though there's not a lot of water in it. But yeah, this really is uh, quite good fun to be honest. Isn't it Darren? It is, yeah. No, he said it's not. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna let him have a go now and see what he thinks. He's just taking it down for a bit of a run, just to have a go, because he's not been on an electric bike before, so I thought I'd let him have a bit of a go of it. And uh, he's literally got on it and go, oh my God, it's just taken off. I said, yeah, it's, it really does. You have to pedal. The only downside is if you're gonna do off-road like this and you come up to some of the ruts and some of the like higher, bigger stones, you have to stop pedaling to make sure your, your pedals don't hit the rocks. And the only thing with it is it will take the assistance off then. So you've then got to get pedaling to get your assistance going. It does come with a throttle. Um, you can have probably attach a throttle for this off-road use, um, but uh, the throttles aren't, I don't think they're legal in, in Great Britain. 
Um, he's doing a bit of bunny hopping here. Look at him, watch him. He's a bit of a poser. He's flying along. <laughs> Easy, isn't it? No problem. <laughs> he likes it. I've got to try and force it out of his hands now. Right, we'll see you at the top and uh, yeah, we'll get a bit more fun out of this. I found its limit. It doesn't want to come up this bit just here. This is steep. You can see in front of me. This is quite steep. I had it on level four, level five. And it's just not got enough. <laughs> it's just not got enough to get you up the steep bit. Coming down, it'll be fine, but I've got to walk up to where those people are up there. Then it levels off a bit more. But I'm going to set it up and get a couple of photographs of it. Oh, so far it was all right, but that's, that bit was hard work. speak a little bit about the bike. I've just had a ride up, come over some big ruts and bumps and it seemed to handle it quite well. So like I say, I've been repeating myself all the way through this video that I'm not an off-road rider really. I do enjoy a bit of adrenaline, but that's not what I do. Uh, so it seems to handle it okay. The really steep bits it struggles on, but other than that, it seems to be pummeling through really, really well. Just got some really cracking photographs of her up there. Look, she's sitting up there on the rocks. And uh, yeah, this is a time to sort of tell you about it. It's got punch-proof tires. It's got these um, ceramic weave or something that's in the tires and uh, it's supposed to help them from getting punctures, uh, which is pretty good. They're a 27 and a half inch wheel. Uh, I think it is, if I just remember rightly. Yes, yeah, it's just 27 and a half inch wheel, um, front and back. You've got a shock absorber on the front as well, which takes some of the puncture out the old, you know, some of the bounce out of it a little bit. Um, you've got metal, metal uh, pedals which is really good because i've ground them out several times hitting the rocks as they come along and this is granity rock it's really quite hard i said before we've got the seven speed uh it says six per seven uh, shimano gear on the back there um it comes with these mud guards you don't have to clip them on but they're actually slidable the built-in headlight which is really really good it works off the controllers on the front seat's quite comfortable i think it's quite a comfortable seat as mountain bikes go some of them are really sort of narrow but this is a not a bad seat but escute do make a nice comfortable soft paddy one as well um, it has got a bit grubby comes with obviously a, a charger you plug it in at home charge it up it takes about five to six hours to charge i actually charged mine on the jackery yesterday because i had it out yesterday uh, they give a range of about 40 miles, but obviously that's going to be dependent on what level of uh, power you're using, whether you're going up hills, how much assistance it's actually using. So, um, yeah, that's, that's, that's a big key feature to it. Uh, but definitely on terrain like this, it's, it's good fun. It really is good fun. And, and Darren had a go and he loves it. He's even talking about getting one now for Christmas. Um, what else can I tell you about? Uh, the brakes are standard brakes and not hydraulic. And that all relates to the price of the bike as well. This bike is a uh, is a thousand pounds, nine hundred ninety nine pound. If you want to buy one, if you use the code Compton fifty, and I'll put a link down below for you. If you use the code Compton fifty, you'll get fifty pound off as well, which is really good of Escu to do that. Thank you very much. Um, but yeah, really, really good. Really, really like it. And uh, I will be using it for my landscape adventures when I've got to come on a long hike like this or I'm going on a long distance. You know, if you're in the mountains, you want to go all the way along the path or the track or you're at the beach and you want to go along the seafront, absolutely brilliant idea. Put your backpack on. Bearing in mind, I've got a camera backpack as well. You know, there's a good heavy pack on my back and a tripod. It's doing really well. So, yeah, quite pleased with that. I'm going to take it off this rock now before the wind catches it and throws it off the edge of the cliff. And, uh, yeah. All in all, very, very good. So I'm not going to rant on any more about it. I will put any order specs will coming up on the screen as I've been talking. Um, we're going to go and enjoy it now. We're going to go all the way over, up onto the rocks over there. I'll take a few more photographs, obviously, because the scooter probably likes some nice photographs of it. It is a bit muddy and grubby, but what are mountain bike bikes for if they're not to get muddy? So yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I do do normal landscape videos on a Wednesday and a Sunday. And if there's anything you want to know about it that you can't find in the description, give us a shout, drop us a comment, and I'll ask them for you and get back to you as soon as I can.
say that we're still having a little bit of fun on this and uh, we just come through a little rocky patch and it's quite rough and bumpy and rugged and stuff like that and it seemed to handle the punishment quite well it does rattle a little bit but you'd expect it from any bike i think a bit of a rattle the way it's bouncing and crunching over the rocks so yeah it's doing all right it's doing all right so we've made it to where we wanted to come to the location we wanted to get the bike up in the air up in the mountains up in the hillside well definitely up in the hillside if you can see behind me now there's not a lot around me battery is running quite low but it's been on pretty much full power trying to get me up here so i expect it to be sort of using the power quite a lot but uh yeah all in all it's been a good ride it's been good fun i'm really looking forward to going down i'm going to end this properly end this on a b-roll trip going back down i'm going to clip my camera onto me coat onto my jacket right down with the camera on you can see the sort of stuff that we're going to head back through i'm going to try not to fall off try not to break it if i can help it um but yeah all in all really really pleased Get yourself out and buy one, that's all I can say. Right, I just wanted to test these brakes out, see if they worked. Ooh, fingers crossed. No problem. <laughs> <laughs>